Hi Pisces, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, and Venus. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your September 15th to the 30th, 2019. That's 2019 reading for you today. Now I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting out. And I like to start each reading with an attitude of gratitude, so I want to thank you so very much, whether you're new or old to this channel, for tuning in and stopping by. It's an absolute pleasure having you here. So let's get started, Pisces. Let's see what September 15th to the 30th has in store for you for love. September 15th to the 30th, 2019, Pisces, 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 love. Show me clearly. 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 Okay, fantastic. That's where the cards fell, so that's where spirit wants me to stop. At the center of everything, we have the nine of wands. Right? That's at the heart of the reading. You're crowned by the essence of you shining through. That's brilliant. In the major arcana, you're represented by the moon card. In the minor arcana, you're represented by the cups. The sun. Oh, that's amazing. Page of Swords, a water sign, not a water sign, an air sign energy, a Gemini, a Libra, and Aquarius. Feeling as if you have to defend yourself, the Seven of Wands, new dawns, new days, just new opportunities opening up for you absolutely brilliantly. <laughs> Happiness, joy, a connection, going deeper into a relationship. If you're looking for a relationship and you're single, this is you know, finding a person who, who gets you, you're tired of the rigamora. You really are. You're tired of not being understood, passions not matching. There's a lot that you have been through that has made you very weary when it comes to love. And then you have the page of pentacles. So you're both going to be learning about each other mentally and prosperously on this earthly plane and between your ears, kind of getting to know how the other person responds to things because we are such complex, we are such complex complex beings. So here, there is a sense of being a student, but studying, studying each other. And I know that might sound really, really odd, but it is actually going to calm down this sense of chaos that I'm seeing here. It's knowing that you don't have all the answers. You don't need to have all the answers. Being a student within your life forever and always is actually a beautiful place to be. You have a strong, not a strong, but you have a air sign presence, a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius, and an earth sign presence, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn right here. So let's see what your fairy guidance says. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Pisces, love, September 15th to the 30th, 2019. Pisces, love, September 15th to the 30th, 2019. Show me clearly, show me clearly. Okay. Simplicity, and the back one, love. Simplifying your life, and also simplifying love. Oh, I'm sorry, my nose itches so badly. Hold on one minute. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Okay. <laughs> Now let's go on to your Witchling cards. September 15th to the 30th, 2019. Love. September 15th to the 30th. Okay, these ones right here. Front. Abundance. Back. Motivation. Brilliant. I was having trouble reading from the side for a moment. Okay. <laughs> let's see. Abundance. And this says... Harmonize your thinking with exactly what you desire to attract and the universe will deliver. Harmonize your thinking, yes, but harmonize your emotions. Because, Pisces, you are an emotional being to the extreme, and it is a beautiful place to be, but it can sometimes be an overwhelming place. So harmonizing your emotions, harmonizing what it is that you want from yourself, body, mind, and spirit, is going to open doors for you. The color that shines through here is yellow. That's healing and cleansing your solar plexus chakra. You might find that all your stress during these 15 days, it goes straight to your gut, goes straight to your stomach. So putting into alignment your, your desires, but also putting into alignment, you know, healing and cleansing your solar plexus chakra is going to be very, very, very beneficial for you. Then we have motivation. Motivation kindles the passion and energy needed to work towards your goals. You're motivated. You really are. 
but you are working towards your goals. You're working towards where it is that you want to be, what it is that you desire. And this has to do with love because for some of you, you're coming out of a really bad relationship, a really bad time. And for others of you, it's going to be that you're kind of working against, and I don't want to, it's a negative headspace. It really is. It is having looked at things, having tried so hard, worked so hard, and right here with the nine of wands, the five of wands, and the seven of wands, you feel like the battle never ends. And I want to tell you that it does. You have such beautiful cards here, but these three can steal away your whole 15 days. It really can. They can rob the last half of September for you. And here with motivation, you are motivated to move forward. You really are. You're motivated to have the life that you want. And the color that shines through here is orange. That's healing and cleansing your sacral chakra because that's where negativity from this life and past lives are held. So here, by cleansing those chakras and moving forward in your truth, you're going to find the power that you need to, to claim the, glor the glory of your life. You really are. Simplicity. Simplifying your life will bring you a sense of clarity and renewal. Simplify. Boil things down to what it is that you truly want and where it is that you truly want to be. Because there are complications here that there's just been complication after complication. And now you're looking at things and saying, I need the simple. I need the simple. I need things to be in alignment with my soul, my heart, what I want, not what the world is trying to sell you, not what everybody else wants you to have, but it's simplifying your truth. And that brings you love. It really does. It brings you love. Love is the base essence of our being devoid of all pride and fear. It's not something to be afraid of. It is not something that comes if you're, you know, the cockiest person in the world and just strut around like, you know, a peacock or a, a rooster. It comes from you accepting yourself and then seeing another person and accepting them fully because that's going to be the most beautiful love that you have here. At the heart of everything, the nine of wands and the five of wands, there's chaos here. It's feeling battered and bruised by the opinions of the world. It's being like enough is enough. Everybody's opinion is coming at you. Everybody has a way that you should do things and you, they just need to stop. You just need to stop listening to them. And I know that's really easy to say and really hard to do. But here, instead of leaning on that wand, put that wand back in the ground. Okay? You can be getting headaches. Your body can be aching. The stress is real. All right? Put that wand in the ground and walk away. Walk away and know that as you claim your truth, as you live in your abundance, as you are motivated to move forward, as you simplify your life and embrace love, these trees grow and they filter the air. They filter your world and they'll take out the negativity and they'll embrace the positivity. And then here with the five of wands, there's chaos. Now, this can be that you feel battered and bruised after an argument that you've had with somebody. But this can also be, and this would be a loved one, this could also be in your mind there's chaos from a relationship that you've had that you find the nasty words are just coming back in your head. It can be from a myriad of things. It can be from work and just life stress in general. And you're thinking, oh my gosh, you know, am I ever going to get to the place that I want to be? Or is life just going to be like this until I die? Because for some of you, I mean, that's where you are right now. It's like, is this always going to be what happens? Am I always going to be stressed and sorrowful and feeling as if I can't breathe? And just like the stress that I'm feeling right now, it, it makes my voice crack. I mean, it really does. It makes, me, it makes me want to give you a hug. So if you're going through this, if you're going through this stress right now, then I am sending you, you know, a spiritual hug right now to be able to calm your energy, to be able to center yourself. It's going to be okay. It really is. Because what you're doing here is you're crowned with the true essence of yourself. This true essence gives you courage. This true essence embraces your wisdom. And this true essence is all about conquering your fears. Yes, you have them, okay? The thing with Pisces is that you guys can get afraid really easily. Like Geminis, they can give their whole lives to pleasing everybody else. Pisces, you can give your whole life to doing things out of fear or not doing things out of fear. And I know that sounds terrible and you might be turning off this video right now, but that's the truth about your sign. That's the negative truth about your sign. But it's also something that you need to know. And why I brought Gemini up is because I myself am a Gemini. And, I mean, I have Pisces in my family, and I can see it in them, that sometimes fear just puts the brakes on any, everything. And you're sitting there, and you're like, what the heck is wrong with you? You are so talented. You are so blessed. You know, just keep on moving forward. But it, it's, it's within your DNA. It really is. It's within your sign. It's in your stars. So here, it's going to be the most powerful thing for you to do is to feel the fear and do it anyway. When it comes to love, there is a sense of, you know, will I be able to have that happily ever after? 
Will I be able to move forward in happiness? There, there's, it's, it's just not going to happen. You'll talk yourself right out of it. But here, it does happen. And you have this love where it's not based off of the grand gestures. It's not based off of, oh my gosh, they just bought me a new car and oh my gosh, I got this and oh my gosh, I got that. It is based off of the fact that they listen to you when you speak. It's based off of the fact that you two genuinely care about each other. You know when you're happy. You know when you're sad. You're there for the other person when they're going through this chaotic time. And that's the love that you want, not the love that's bought, not the love that has contingency plans to it, the love that is based off of mutual respect, that is that warmth of wrapping yourself in a warm blanket with a cup of tea after a long day in the winter and just feeling at peace. Here, you have blessings. You have your blessings, but they're not worshipped, okay? This is prosperity, but it is enough to have a steady, stable life, a steady, stable existence. And it does not mean that you will not be rich. It means that you are stabilizing yourself, you are embracing what it is that you desire, and you're fo focusing on the quantity, not the quantity, the quality of things and not the quantity. You're setting yourself free. You're embracing your essence. And as you do so, you're going to feel as if you have to defend yourself because there's going to be a part of you that says, oh my gosh, it's not good enough. It's just not. I mean, I know everybody else has their talents and you'll be the first one to talk up to the other people and say, don't worry, you're okay. But right now, when it comes to love and when it comes to your life, you're going to be like, no, I can't possibly. Here, with the Seven of Wands, you're going to feel, again, like you have to defend yourself. With the Page of Pentacles, you're being a student of your prosperity, but you're also going to have a love that is budding, that is blooming. And it can be that you're already in love with this person, okay? It can be that you're already in a relationship with this person. But you're going to be figuring out what they truly value as prosperity, what they truly think of as worth its weight in gold. Now, is it gold for them? Or is it what I'm seeing here that it is with you? Is it the quality of your interactions? Is it the way that you two are connecting? Is it the falling in love within your spirits? And I mean, the art of Kretze here, it is the art of, of spiritual sex is what I'm seeing here. And that would be so very, 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 very powerful for you. All right. And that one takes orgasm off the table and it says, that's not what we're going for. And I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, really seriously? No, that's not okay. But it's the art of bonding with your, with your partner. So if you're in a relationship, that's what you need right now. You need that bonding. You need that sense of being connected with them. Okay. And it's kind of like when you look at animals in the wild and let's look at, you know, primates, for example, they groom each other. All right. And that's very important that that solidifies the bond between them. They will not groom people. They will not groom each other, the, the monkeys that they do not like, okay? So that is what I'm seeing here. So it is a sense of, you know, primates do not accept other primates that they do not like into their, their sense of connection. And that's what I'm seeing with you. And I know that might be a bad example, but that's the, the one I have in my head right now. So here, this is very much a sense of that warmth, that security, that abundance, that being wrapped in that warm blanket, moving you forward. Now, if you're not with a partner, this is what you want. And a part of you is talking yourself out of it. A part of you is saying, yeah, it's, it's too much. Love doesn't exist like that. You know, you have to fight for what it is that you want. You might be really into a person who's with somebody else right now. And if you are really into a person who's, in, who's with somebody else right now, Pisces, you know, and you have this kind of, will they choose me thing? Walk away. Walk away. Because if they liked you, if they wanted to be with you, you wouldn't have to ask them to choose. You wouldn't feel like it was this fight. So even if they come after you, they have to come after you. They have to work for you. It's not going to be the other way around. It's not. So just see here your value, your worth, and that you do not have to, to fight for the prosperity that you want within your life. It is coming. It will come. Because what's happening here is there's a shift that's going on. And it's the one from, I have to fight, I have to defend myself. It's kind of like the fight or fight mode. You're... You're fighting, but you are this ready to fly. You are this ready to go. And what you're doing here is as you embrace the essence of yourself, as you embrace what it is that you want, seriously, what you want, Pisces, not what it is that you want for somebody else to like you, okay, or for somebody else to accept you or for somebody else to be happy with you, you're going to see the door start to open and you become this incorporeal being of snow and of air, this person who can take flight like no other, all right? And as you do so, you learn what it is that you want mentally. 
your mind, your soul. You will, because your mind is connected to your soul. Your soul is the only perfect thing about you, right? And that might be a little bit blunt, but the soul is the only perfect thing about anybody. We all chase perfection. We inject Botox into our faces. We, you know, go to the gym for X amount of hours a day. We do this, we do that. We all seek physical perfection. We all seek, you know, financial perfection. We work 18 million hours a day. We never see our families, our kids, anything like that. It's just go, 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 achieve, achieve, achieve. Here, there's a sense of slowing down. It's simplifying your life, all right? You're not going to be perfect. You're not. The only perfect thing about you is your soul. Your body is perfect for moving you forward. Your eyebrows catch the sweat on your face. That's amazing. That is wonderful. Your legs move you forward. Your heart beats. Your lungs work. That's a perfect body. The aches, the pains, the hearts, the heartbreaks. Yes, they come. Here, you're being a student of your mind because your mind is connected with your heart your emotions. And you'll see, and it's the best way, you'll see what you're drawn to, you'll see what you're looking at. And it affects you, body, mind, and spirit. All right? Your mind is a mirror of your heart. So pay attention to it. This is an air sign energy, a Gemini, a Libra, and Aquarius. You're going to find that you're connected with spirit, that you're getting messages, and that you move forward, and that it's time to stop the chaos. A strong connection, again, with air sign, earth sign energies. Because here, there's a connection with love. This is true love. This is joy. This is celebration of love. And then this is happiness. So this is a happiness akin to a wedding. Okay? That's what this is representative of. And then this is joy, happiness, success. The sun is the happiest card in the whole entire tarot deck. So here, with the four of wands, celebrate. It doesn't mean that you have to be having a wedding or meeting your true love or anything like that. But celebrate with family and friends. Love. Just start bringing that love into your life. Just soaking it up like the sun. Or like the earth after, when it, after going through a bit of a dry spell. When it really needs the rain and it just soaks it all in like a sponge. Soak it in because you'll be embracing your happiness. As you embrace your happiness, you're going to be finding your warmth, your security, your balance. The truth of you. Okay, And you need these happinesses, you need these joys, you need these celebrations because you need them on a day-to-day -day basis. Not these big, huge hugaboos. You need something small, something stable, something secure because that's going to bring in the love into your life and it's going to be a gentler love. It's going to be a love with a person who sees you, who understands you, and who stops the chaos. The, no, they're not going to stop the chaos. But with feeling balanced within yourself, feeling secure within yourself, the chaos stops. Okay, and it can be an air sign energy, it can be an earth sign energy. Know that this air sign energy right here might be a very difficult energy for you at times, but this earth sign energy also, you can find yourself coming into conflict with them or trying to talk yourself out of it, kind of like you're not good enough, so why are you even there kind of thing. Stop. Stop putting yourself down. You are facing your fears. You are embracing love. You are going to find that love is much more simple than you ever gave it credit for. But you're also going to find that even though it's simpler than you ever thought, it's also much more complex and it's never what's sold to us in movies, ever, okay? It is not, you can't, you can't breathe, you know, everything, the world just stops. That's the first stages of love. That's what the Greeks called eros. Love then evolves to philia, okay? That's friendship love. And love then evolves again into agape, which if you're a Christian, you would know is the love of Christ. So here, there are stages of love, and we only see the eros love, the erotic love, okay? That's where the word erotica comes from, the root of it. But your love is expanding. It's not just about the, oh my gosh, you know, we have to tear each other's clothes off. It's all just way too much. We love each other so much. It, every moment, every day, you know, that's it. You need that filial love. You need that love of basis, of friendship, of loyalty, of connection with each other, because that's where your security comes from. If it evolves into agape love, oh my gosh, you're going to be on cloud nine. You're getting a gift. Your subconscious message is God's source spirit. However you see the divine, the universe, handing you a gift of prosperity, you're taking it. Absolutely positively taking it. And nothing and no one will stop you. You're moving towards the next chapter in your life, and this love is worth its weight in gold. 
All right, Pisces, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. And may harmony always be with you. Bye.